In this lecture, we discuss the existence, uniqueness, and some topological consequences. So far, we have no guarantee that the general nonlinear system x dot is equal to f of x even has solutions. Note that green denotes vector quantities. We now state a existence and uniqueness theorem for n dimensional systems. So the existence and the uniqueness theorem states that consider the initial value problem x dot is equal to f of x where x of 0 is equal to x naught and suppose that f is continuous and that all its partial derivatives dfi to dxj for ij to 1 to n are continuous for x in some open connected set d in rn then for x not an element of d the initial value problem has a solution x of t on some time interval minus t to capital T about t is equal to 0 and the solution is unique. So the existence and uniqueness of solutions are guaranteed if f is continuously differentiable. Now note that the existence and the uniqueness theorem has an important corollary that is that different trajectories never intersect. So if two trajectories did intersect then we would have two solutions starting from the crossing point and hence we would actually violate the uniqueness part of the theorem. In other words, a trajectory cannot move in two directions at once. So we give an example of a face portrait that actually cannot happen. So this is an example of a face portrait that actually will not happen because it will violate the existence and the uniqueness theorem. In particular, it will actually violate the uniqueness part of the theorem. In two-dimensional phase spaces, these results actually have very strong topological consequences. For example, suppose that we have a closed orbit C in the phase plane. Then any trajectory which starts inside the closed orbit C is trapped in there forever. So let's plot a figure. So that's the closed orbit C and that's a trajectory which is inside the closed orbit. Now if there are fixed points inside the orbit C then the trajectory might eventually approach one of them. Now what happens if there are no 
fixed points inside the closed orbit C. For vector fields on the plane, the Poincare Bendixson theorem states that if a trajectory is confined to a closed bounded region and there are no fixed points in the region, then the trajectory must eventually approach a closed orbit. In other words, the trajectory just can't roam around aimlessly forever. The Poincare Bendixson theorem will be discussed later. Uh, in this lecture, we discussed existence, uniqueness, and some topological consequences. When we start working with a differential equation, or with a system of differential equation, it's always useful to know under what conditions the solutions would exist and be unique. So we stated a theorem for n-dimensional systems, where x dot is equal to f of x in vector notation. And essentially, the result was that as long as f was continuously differentiable, the solutions would exist and would be unique. There was an interesting corollary to the existence and uniqueness theorem, which essentially said that the trajectories would not intersect. In other words, the trajectory cannot move in two different directions at the same time. But we also highlighted a rather interesting topological consequence that would be there in two-dimensional flows. And that's consider the following scenario. Consider that you have a closed orbit and a trajectory starts inside the closed orbit. Now, in the case that there is a fixed point inside the closed orbit, then it is possible that this trajectory would approach this fixed point eventually. But what happens if there was no fixed point inside this closed orbit? If that is the case, then there is a theorem known as the poincare bendixson theorem, which says that this trajectory, which starts inside this closed orbit, would eventually approach a closed orbit itself. And so this theorem is known as the Poincare-Bendixson theorem, which we will deal with in some detail later.